it is New Year's Eve, not New Year's Day. Um, so it's New Year's Eve, so December 31st, and I'm headed to Kyoto for New Year's Eve, obviously. Um, I was gonna do a shrine, but actually someone invited me to hang out with them, so now I'm not quite sure what we're doing, but it'll be great. Uh, yep. <laughs> I took the train to Kyoto, then it was off to find the hostel I was staying in for the night. Okay, I'm at the Santiago guest house and I figured it out, even though all the advertisements just say cafe. It's a little confusing, but we got it. No worries. I don't know anything about this area, so I'm just gonna walk and I have more of a shrine over there. Couldn't tell you what temple this is, but very aesthetic, especially if you have a kimono. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's shrines that are popular on New Year's. So I was gonna go find food, but I'll do that in a minute. You know, as you do. Okay, so it is closed, but I can at least look at it, right? It actually looks like a rather big temple, but I never went back and visited it when it was open. Already closed, so um, I'm just gonna go to this little restaurant that was up here. Um, there's so many people everywhere that I feel bad I'm just straight up recording, but there's right here, it's just soup. I know I said it's just soup, but it was actually really good. I recommend it. And here's where it is on Google Maps so you can see what's around it. Oh, GoPro gets such bad video at night, but look at this cute bridge. It's right. <laughs> it's raining though. I'm gonna go see if Lawson has an umbrella I can buy. I got distracted and did not end up even going to Lawson's, much less buying an umbrella. Look how absolutely cute this little area is. It's so It's really nice. Big night on the town. I had to get Starbucks, obviously. Um, <laughs> Oh, net cafe, never mind. I thought it said pit cafe. I was much more excited. There we go, New Year's. That's so cute, actually. <gasps> the international store. Kali Coffee. Dude, look at these parfaits. Milk tea parfait. Jumbo. Japanese style. American. <laughs> the American parfaits featured things like hot dogs and french fries, which I wasn't going to try this time. I went to the parfait place and there's so many options. Literally, how do I choose? This is the one I ordered. I don't actually remember what it was called, but it was matcha ice cream with like the rice balls, like mochi, and then the soybean powder stuff that tastes kind of like peanut butter. It's It was very good. The front of the store is also really interesting because they have a bunch of the shokuhin sampuru, which is Japanese for foodstuffs and sample. So it has a bunch of the plastic replicas of the parfaits you can order. After that, it was back out to the streets of Kyoto to see what else was around. I saw these cute cats at the pet shop and I always want them, but I can't have them. I didn't get any footage of that night, so on to the next day. This is just full of kimono rentals now. Second day, yesterday I didn't record much because uh, we were bar hopping and so I was out late and yep, yeah, got a late start. Now I'm headed to some temples and shrines just to see what's up and yeah you can see the first one there but Kyoto is very busy so I've made a mistake with these <laughs> with these dates but it'll be fine. Look how cute this little area is. Pottery so fine. Fine fine fine. This is one of those times I'm really bad at staying focused and on track for what I'm supposed to do for the day. I saw this little side stairs, I guess, it's not a road, and I was like, I guess I gotta go up there and see what's up. It is a really cool area, and I'm glad I decided to wander up there. They have this really cute restaurant that I'm going to go to, don't you worry, and a lot of pottery and stuff for you to look at. Oh, Someone else spotted this cat, but look at its perfect placement. I ended up in this little restaurant, except there's a waiting list, so I have a number. Oh, it's cute. It's in a cool location. 
I didn't know this at the time, but apparently it is a very popular tourist location. But I would say this one is definitely worth it. The food was great. The atmosphere was great. The view was great. Everything about this restaurant was actually really nice. And the prices were not bad. Yeah. There are the people next to me around, so grab a better shot of this place. It's quite cute. I wish the sun was out. Oh, this is a lot of food, but it looks so good. Lunch was good, but time to head back outside. Look at all this money. <laughs> it's only one year place. I'm so out of shape. Holy, oh my god, it's okay. It was said it wasn't just rain today. What is this? I know I've said this about a million times at this point already, but I would not recommend going to Kyoto on the New Year's. It was so busy and everything was really crowded, but I still decided to go check out the Kiyomizudera temple. The red that's like a staple of Kyoto. Except for it's freaking raining still even though the sky is like blue. Yes, I'm going in. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Kiyomizu, Kiyomizu Temple. Guess I'm going over to that one. So this line that you see to the left is actually the line for the omikuji, which are the fortunes that you can get at temples and shrines. And I definitely know nothing. This is a Buddhist temple. Um, the incense is a dead giveaway. Incense lighting. Okay, here's the path to the other thing. I should do a little bit more research before I just jump into these things and then try to make a vlog about it because I have no idea where I'm going. I never do. I can lie, this looks a lot bigger from farther away. It's so cool though. It looks so, it looks so much bigger from farther away. I'm so confused how my brain processes this. These always crack me up with the little aprons. Very cute. This would be really pretty in the fall, huh? With all of these trees. Ooh, I wonder if there's fish in here. I did the circle around Kiyomizudera, and I would recommend checking this out if you're in Kyoto, just not on New Year's. Next, it was off to the famous street, Saninzaka. You'll soon recognize this street when you see the pagoda in the distance, but it was hard to see anything with all these people. I had to lift my camera into the air to see anything. Snoopy chocolate. I wandered into this Snoopy store because my mom really loves Snoopy, so I had to go see what they had. I did buy her some chocolate from here for Christmas because I hadn't sent my Christmas gifts yet, and I know it's New Year's. I wasn't even looking for this street, and yet here it is, I found it. The one everybody wants to take pictures of. This is the street I meant to walk down, but instead I went down the main street. Oh, there's a lot of people here. 
Honestly, at this point, just take a shot for each time I say that. This will be a great drinking game. Wow, you need to chuck your money in from far away and open the bed. Here's what I want, the little like back, backish alleys where there's not nearly as many people because it's not the main center action. Swish on this one, he's got less work to do. Honestly, the temple in Nara so far has been my favorite. These Kyoto ones, saint living up to Todaiji in Nara. This one's cool. Oh, they put cages on them. I wonder if it's because too many people touch them. said if you get bad luck you tie it up here to leave the bad luck here but if you get good luck you take it home with you i don't know if that's true that's just what i heard from someone here we go Whoa. <laughs> i don't know what it means i don't know what Whoa. Oh no, this is bad luck. Yeah, I got bad luck. The shops that sell the omikuji have signs that say good luck, bad luck, so that's how I figured it out. So I'm like tying it up and leaving it here. That is not as easy as it looks. Okay. The lights on, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of people doing selfie stuff here, so it's not it's not as bad I can say stuff. It's like it's starting to rain again a little bit. I'm so tired of raining. Look how pretty the hand washing is. That's so cool. Oh. So that was Yasaka Shrine. I actually highly recommend it, just not on New Year's. Everyone's cracking down on the no photography. There's so many signs now. Everywhere there's so many signs. I found the Ghibli store. <laughs> So it's just a Ghibli store. Ooh. Busy, busy. They have a big Totoro statue here with the bus stop sign. It's really cute and you can take pictures by it and yeah. Look at the Ghibli Oh, the I wandered into this super interesting candy showtime, but they do the candy making candy Ooh, like that. So I got some. No. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what? super close to the hostel I'm staying in um, and I keep walking past it but tonight's the night I might as well at least go check it out <laughs> well this must be real rice cakes and eggplants Whoa.
If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my adventures in Japan. Next is Kyoto again.